Stuart is the intellectual Johnny Appleseed of the counterculture. Stuart has this remarkable Forrest Gump superpower to sense where the frontiers are and then be there. I didn't set out in life to have a trajectory. It is a pretty interesting way to have a life because you get to be surprised a lot. When I was young, the whole Earth catalog was one of the Bibles of my generation. It was created by a fellow named Stuart Brand. It was sort of like Google in paperback form 35 years before Google came along. That's a very typical Stuart thing, to understand that there is something there. The people within it start to look around and say, OK, we're in something together. Tonight's topic is de-extinction. Oh, my god. Civilization is revving itself into a pathologically short attention span. Using DNA, we can bring back extinct species. So this is the once in the future mammoth we're looking at. It has been gone for a while, and with any luck, they are on the way back. Should we do this? This is human cleverness. We know better than nature. Really? It's about the worst thing we could possibly do. Stuart Brand is a visionary. I, by contrast, am a pragmatist. De-extinction is a good way of keeping people reminded they're gonna bear down on some issues for a long time, and astounding things can be accomplished. Stuart is an evangelical optimist, maybe quite dangerous. He's famous for saying, we are as gods so we might as well get good at it.